time now for our Consumer Confidential and a warning about online pharmacies. So you may think you're getting a great deal, but our senior consumer and investigative correspondent, Vicki Wynn, says buyer beware. Vicki, is interesting. interesting. Yeah, good morning. This came from a conversation we had, and Craig was so astounded to find yeah. out the stats, right? Good morning to you. When it comes to selling weight loss meds alone, a recent report by the JAMA Network found nearly half of all pharmacies online were illegal or operating without a license, nearly half. So how can you tell? These are the steps to take to make sure your meds are safe. I can't get my medication right now. I just wonder, like, who's experiencing the shortage right now? It's a shortage of this medicine, too. Popular drugs used for weight loss like Ozempic and Manjaro saw major shortages over the past year. And the cost for some of these medicines without insurance, well over a thousand bucks a month. And they wanted like $1,500 for it and I couldn't afford that at the time. Cynthia Bradley says her doctor prescribed Ozempic to treat her type 2 diabetes, but getting it from a traditional pharmacy was too expensive. After doing some research on Facebook, she says her email was flooded with ads for online pharmacies offering Ozempic for much less. It was about $200. And how many Ozempic pens did you receive? Three. The savings advertised online attracted Fiona Maudime and Duran Seals, too. I thought it looked really legit. Duran says he found a seller on Facebook Marketplace offering a bottle of weight loss meds for $50. What were they advertising? Basically, they was advertising um, get a miracle, um, realistic, asympic um, pill bottles. But he says he eventually canceled his order because the seller stopped returning his messages. How much money did you lose to this scam? $129. Fiona says she purchased pills through a retailer who posted on X. After they delivered the, the, the pill, actually, I took it. And then after a while, I started experiencing nausea, vomiting. A doctor later confirmed what Fiona had purchased was not Ozempic. While there are legitimate online pharmacies, many customers are falling prey to the illegal ones. Scammers who promise hard to find meds for too good to be true prices. Online security firm McAfee says its team discovered 449 risky website URLs and more than 170,000 dangerous phishing attempts centered around Ozempic, Wagovi, and semaglutide, medicines used for weight loss. They're offering them at a fraction of the cost. Senior VP of Pharma Solutions at Prescriptive Health, Kelsey Blair, says she's seen similar scams involving other difficult-to-find meds from cancer drugs to ADHD pills. She says consumers should always verify whether a pharmacy is legit by looking it up on safe.pharmacy, never buy medicines through social media, and if it's a prescription drug and the seller doesn't require proof, it's likely a scam. What if you need one of these medications? What's the best way to try to get it? So to speak with your physician um, and to work with your pharmacy, if these products are not available through your local pharmacy, um, you can you can work with your pharmacist or your providers to find credible online pharmacies. As for Cynthia, she feels fortunate to be OK after trying one of the Ozempic pens she received. I was nauseous. I was a little bit dizzy. And then I was just super fatigued for a couple of days. She says she spoke with her doctor and he helped her find a legitimate online pharmacy that now provides her with real Ozempic for about $250 a month. You need to do your research. Yeah, really important message there. And experts say before you go online to look for those cheaper alternatives, go back to your doctor or your local pharmacist. They can help you find safe medicines at a price you can afford. And that's what we saw there. And I should mention, we heard back from Meta and TikTok, and they say they work really hard to remove these kinds of ads. This is prohibited by their guidelines. But just a reminder, don't buy prescription medicine off of social media. So what are some red flags to know that this is not a safe Place to buy. One key red flag, Dylan, is when they ask you to pay with something like Venmo or PayPal or Zelle, those peer-to-peer -peer apps, oh. always pay with a credit card because then you get the additional protections. And there's also this website called NeedyMeds.org. They help you find all these d drugs for discounted prices, including brand names. So start there. Start with your pharmacist and your doctor and check out that website, NeedyMeds.org. Very helpful. Vicky. Yeah. Thank you so much. This also seems like one of those situations where if it seems too good to be true, like if there's a drug yes. that costs $500 a month and you can get it for 25 probably not, not, yeah. not legit. Probably not. But you know, with drug pricing, it's so not transparent. It's so yeah. opaque that sometimes yeah. people don't know that there's such a b wide scale and they think maybe this is reasonable and the websites are pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That was good. Thank you. So much. Thank Thank you. you.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.